Buffalo and Kansas City. Now, here's a fun stat. Josh Allen, he's had twice as many touchdowns this season as Patrick Mahomes. Now, based on this prediction, I mean, I'm taking Buffalo because I think, you know, the Bills, it's their time. They have that energy. However, you know, you can't count out Mahomes and Andy Reid. I, what do you think? I, I'm taking Buffalo here, and they're getting two points. Yeah, I'm not surprised. There's a lot of I think there's a lot of money on Buffalo because of what they did to the Patriots last week. And also, Josh Allen, I think you look at, Matt, not just what he does through the air. He threw for five touchdowns last week, but it's what he does with his legs. And, you know, he rushed for over 730 yards this year, a number of touchdowns. He's so good on third down and in the red zone running with the football. They've got designed runs for a quarterback that – is built like a tight end. So I do like the Buffalo Bills. I think they're coming into the postseason with a lot of confidence and momentum. I think they've got a little bit of a chip on the shoulder. They unloaded. They unloaded last week on the Patriots. That was that was a revenge game. For them. And 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 I think they haven't forgotten what happened last year in the AFC Championship game. They went to Kansas City and they lost to the Chiefs. The Chiefs went on to the Super Bowl. And I think this Bills team is good enough. Leslie Frazier's done a great job with that defense. You know, the thing you do worry about is is Andy Reid is such a good play caller, and he doesn't get enough credit for that, Matt. You remember the, those days in, in Philadelphia with Donovan McNabb, all those chips in the oh, yeah. Super Bowl where they come a little bit short. But Andy Reid does a really good job, and he's got some he's got some real playmakers at his fingertips. You look at Travis Kelsey and what he can do in the middle of the field, down in the red zone, of course, Tyree Kill. And we see some of the wildcat and some of the, the different variations of, of uh, the kind of trickery. And uh, it's it's really an offense built on illusion and disguise. They show you so much formationally with motions and pre-snap shifts. I really like it uh, as I study this offense, but I think this is going to be a shootout. Think about this. The first time in NFL history we have two quarterbacks meeting in a divisional game that are coming off five touchdown passing performances the week before. So I'm expecting a lot of fireworks in Arrowhead on Sunday night. There's going to be a lot of game planning for both teams. I think there'll be a lot of in-game adjustments. I think, obviously, if you're Buffalo going into this game, there's a couple things you have to do well. And first and foremost, you have to limit the yards after catch. Tyree Kill, if you swing and miss, he could go for 80 yards. Travis Kelsey's so good after the catch with the ball in his hands. They're going to get their catches, Matt. There's no there's no denying that. You know, Patrick Mahomes is a very accurate quarterback even on the move. And so they're going to get catches. But what you have to keep to a minimum are the yards after contact, the yards after catch. You have to be able to tackle well in the secondary. The good thing about the Buffalo Bills is they've got a pair of safeties that are as fine of safeties in football. you got Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer, both Pro Bowl caliber players, all pro type players. Both are interchangeable. Both can play at all three levels of the defense, down around the line of scrimmage, in the box. On the second level, both can play in the middle of the field. Both have great range, great tackling ability. So I like how the Bills match up, but it's going to be a challenge. And again, you have to limit the yards after catch against this Kansas City offense.